Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with a new scrapbook process video and I will apologize you're gonna kind of see my hands going a bit here. I actually filmed the first part of this video back in February and I actually did it where I was speaking real time kind of showing you the color palette that I had chosen for the month of February. The audio for it however got messed up and so I ended up having to do this voiceover on top of it. So this is also something I filmed back in February with the color inspiration that I chose for that month. I am a really, really behind on my getting my videos edited and uploaded. So I do apologize. This is a little bit behind where I wanted to be, but I figured I did put this layout together so I would still put the video out. I am using the color scheme that you see here of a navy and sort of a mint green, a burgundy, a lighter pink, and then it's like an ivory color. So that's the color palette that I ended up choosing for this month of February. And my plan has always been with the color palettes to try to do about two layouts at least a month using that color scheme that I chose. So I do have a second video which I'm going to try to get processed and put up and then I do have I believe at least one if not two layouts for my March color scheme as well and then hopefully here I can squeeze in well I'm we're only starting the month of April so I should be able to get my two April color palette uh, layouts completed and those uploaded hopefully this month so hopefully this month I can catch up since we're kind of quarantined and I can't go a lot of places or go anywhere actually um, I can hopefully get these videos edited and up so there you saw I kind of just went through and showed you the things that I pulled for this particular layout I am going to do some stamping so I have pulled some of my stamps in or stamp pads in the colors that matched the mood board and here I'm just showing you the little stamps that I think I'm going to try to stamp out and use ultimately on this layout. So I'm not going to leave in all of the stamping that I do for this layout. I'm just going to kind of do a couple of colors here because basically I take these images that I kind of showed you at the beginning and I do one set of those images in each of the colors basically on that scrap piece of white cardstock. And so basically that's what you're going to see here. I'm going to start with this light green and I'm going to go ahead and stamp those. I'm using my stamp block so that I can actually stamp it multiple times if I need to get a better impression. So then I'm going to go to the next color here and proceed to do all four ink colors so that um, off camera I will fussy cut all of these little different images and be able to use these on my layout. Now this was filmed back like I said in February and I was playing along with the um, what is it from the 30 no it's not 30 days because there's not 30 days in February it's the um, with Scrap Happy they have the oh gosh I completely forget what it is but it's you do a layout a day layout a day that would be it layout a day um, challenge and so I was playing along with that and so I believe for this day that it was to use the postage or use like postage images or something like that so I have like special delivery delivery and I have like a postcard so while none of those things actually have anything to do with the photo I'm doing, I I was playing along, so I um those are my what I had basically stamped for my layout. So I am going to incorporate those bits and pieces in. Next, after I had fussy cut those, I am going to take my photo and then the pattern papers that I chose for this layout, and I'm just going to go ahead and mat up my photo. This photo is a picture of my daughter and I, and we are actually at Epcot, I believe, and we are actually waiting in line for Soren. And so I snapped a quick selfie of her and I as we are getting 
ready to go on that ride and we're just kind of hanging out since we actually had the fast pass but we still you still have to often wait your your turn in line so that was what we were doing here and so we were just taking some silly selfies and now I am going to build this background I have matted my photo with sort of a double mat and then I have the other pattern papers which is that light green with the white polka dot that kind of has an ombre that's going to go behind that beautiful piece of navy floral pattern paper and now I'm going to take all those bits and pieces, the stamped images, the ephemera pieces, and all of those items that I pulled for this layout, and we're going to go ahead and build my clusters. I'm going to have basically two clusters on this layout, and I don't have the layout in front of me, so I, I don't think I do a third embellishment cluster on this layout, but I could be wrong, so we will see as we go. And I have one cluster that is going to be there at the top left and then I have this other one that's here at the bottom right of my photo and like I said I'm playing along with that uh, layout a day and so I do have those sort of postage images I have the special delivery in an envelope and a stamp and then I also have just some other wood veneer that will go in each cluster. I have some enamel dots that I will eventually add. I have sort of a journaling card that I'm I'm probably going to add a little bit of journaling. I did not do it on camera, but I probably will add on that green card in the back. I will probably add a little bit of journaling to that um, down the road. I have not done it as of yet. But here you see this is kind of the basic layout of how my clusters are going to come together and I guess you could say that I kind of have three clusters because I did sort of add a very small cluster off to the right or the left side bottom left of my photo and wow I'm having a hard time with words today in this video so I apologize but, but I do have that I guess you could call it a third cluster so I guess I did get my cluster of three which I do tend to try to add to all of my layouts here you see I'm kind of tapping my fingers trying to decide and like I said I don't have this layout in front of me so it's it's kind of like I'm trying to guess what I'm doing so apparently I decided I didn't like that cluster down there <laughs> and I move it to the top so there you go I did add three clusters because that is my typical norm to add three clusters to all my layouts I do tend to like that look of threes I'm also taking this piece of pattern paper, I believe that was like an old Dear Lizzie that had tickets and I'm going to fussy cut those which you see there. I went off camera and glued all of those embellishments down on the page in my clusters and this is going to be sort of the finishing touches of my layout. I'm going to stamp this You Are First Class stamp on that little journaling box that I have. So like I said, I'll add some journaling to that later. And so that is what I'm stamping here with, I believe that's Knight of Navy from Stampin' Up. And so that I'm going to stamp there. And here you see, I have already started to lay out my title. I pulled it off and put it on some wax paper so I could kind of see where I wanted to place it. And I know I want to put it basically right on top of my photo. So you're going to see here, I honestly cannot remember if I left this all in the video. So I apologize if I did, because I know it's kind of boring to watch somebody put down all of the letters for a title. But I was kind of fiddling around with getting it to fit exactly how I wanted it to right above my photo. So I kind of play around with it a little bit just getting the placement right and so you're going to kind of see me fuss with it because I actually think I did leave it all in which I apologize I usually don't I try not to make you guys watch all of this but the title for this one is just going to be simple moments with you are a gift because that is absolutely what I think when I get to spend time with my daughter she's in her teenage years now so you know I will take whatever time she wants to spend with me and as a family that I can get because as you know teenagers like to spend lots of time 
alone in their rooms. So we try to tr grab her and keep her out of her room for at least a portion of time. And so this was obviously we were at Disney and so it's a great way to get to spend some time with her. So there you saw for the end of my title, I actually did not like those um, navy little title stickers. I found that they were getting lost in that background, so I pulled out those mini letters from, oh gosh, they are super, super old. I can't even remember who they're from. Heidi Swap, maybe old Heidi Swap. But yeah, they were super old, and so I used those to finish out my title for gift. Um, just because it made it stand out a little bit more. Now, no Disney layout for me would be complete without a Mickey head somewhere. So I did take my Mickey head punch and I am fiddling around with this larger size Mickey head, which ended up being, at least for that cluster, too large. I add this one here to the top and I don't think, I may add one other Mickey head, but I can't remember. So a finishing touch for sure that I do add to this layout are some enamel dots and I'm basically just taking a mint green and a navy uh, enamel dot and I'm just going to put three in each of my clusters to finish them off and I believe with that we are going to call this layout done. I will have still photos at the end and like I said, I should be back here very soon with another layout using this February color inspiration. And so you can see another take on this color palette. So with that, guys, I will leave you in just a sec with the still photos and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye bye.